Welcome back everyone to another video on my channel and in today's video you can see that we have 20 decorations prepared for you that can improve your Minecraft builds. But before we get into it, if you want to see more Minecraft content, make sure to subscribe as it's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Anyways, let's get into the decorations. First up, we have 10 lighting designs and I set the time to night that way we can see the light that comes off these designs. So first up, we have two very similar designs, two lightning rods on top of each other, and then a candle on top of one, and a lantern on top of the other one. For the third design, we have a quartz pillar block held up by two end rods, and the quartz pillar block is meant to represent a lampshade, and the light actually comes off the end rods, not the actual quartz pillar. For the fourth design, we have an end rod holding up a beacon from the ceiling, and it looks like a nice little chandelier. For the fifth design, we have an iron bar apparatus with candles on top to give it an old time feel or maybe even medieval. For the sixth design, this is some hidden lighting. You can place moss carpets on top of a light source block and the light will actually shine through. And it's a nice design for outside builds where you don't want to place torches. For the seventh design, you can have glowberries hanging from blocks that add a nice ambiance to a build. For the eighth design, you can have a bush covering some light source blocks like shroom lights or glowstone. For the ninth design, we have a spore blossom hanging from the top of a light source block so the light shines through but you can't see it. And that right there is a shroom light and it gives off the light and you also have some nice particles for some ambiance. And for the last design, we have a lamp post with a soul lantern or you could use a regular lantern on top of this sort of apparatus where it has a block then a wall then two fences and some trap doors and it looks really nice this design in a different color combination is actually used in my survival world so if you want to see where it's used in my world i'll leave a link in the description to the video where i use it now we're on to the five couch designs for the first design we have dark oak stairs and a dark oak block formed in a pattern that would be a couch then we have a carpet and a nice little coffee table made out of oxidized copper slabs. Over here, we have two wool black couches with nice wooden seats and a nice deep slate coffee table with some bushes on the side for a little bit of greenery. For the third design, we have one long white couch with a big white chair and an ender dragon trophy rug. For the fourth design, we actually use beds that go into the back of the wall and make it actually look like a nice seat with legs and you cover it with a banner. And you'll need a wall to do this design, but it can be used as a bench or a singular chair as shown in this setup. For the last couch design, we have one short couch with a longer one and a globe rug and a nice quartz coffee table on top of it. Now we're moving over to the five desks. For the first design, we have a nice four wide desk with an oak chair and we have a nice piece of paper with our blaze rod pen. For the second design, we have a copper cut chair that faces our gaming setup with a nice controller and a keyboard. We also have a bookshelf with some candles to add ambiance and a blue area rug. For the third design, we have a nice black stone desk that goes well with the new deep slate blocks in this 1.17 update. And we have some flower pots on the shelves and on the desk and a beacon and some amethyst shards that add some nice decorations to this desk. We also have some candles that add some lighting and a nice workstation here with a keyboard and mouse. For the fourth design, we have a nice dark oak desk with a cartography table on the right side to add some detail that would be otherwise impossible to do without this cartography table, like a notepad on the table, a compass, and even a globe, which is really cool. We also have a notepad and a pencil. And this seat is actually functional by pushing the stair into a minecart, which allows you to sit in the seat. There's also a nice soul lantern on the table to add some lighting. For the fifth design, we have a nice covered desk featuring a writer's nook where you can write down in this book and quill. Also, it features a laptop with a keyboard and mouse. There are also some nice decorations on the top of the desk. This is an example build featuring some of the designs shown off in this video. First of all, you can see that we have the simple 
dark oak couch. And I've actually added some pillows by placing a banner underneath the stairs. Then on the ceiling, we have our candle chandeliers that add some nice light to the environment. In the shelving units on the wall next to the fireplace, we have some glow berries adding more lighting. We also have the lightning rod candle holders on the sides of the fireplace that act as even more lighting. And by adding some other details such as amethyst shards, flower pots, and paintings, you can turn an average boring room into an immaculate, amazing room that really stands out. That's all the designs I have for today. So if you found any of these helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, I'd very much appreciate it if you'd subscribe. I've been Ben Dominus Rex, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.